I have read that the Dalai Lama says that we have one purpose in life, and that purpose is happiness, to be happy. The truth of the matter, can I make you happy? Nope. Can you make me happy? Nope. Happiness comes from here, and we have to find a way to access it. When I ask people, what do you want, oftentimes I hear happiness, and sadness releases from them, which it has to happen. Oftentimes I hear, I want freedom. Then I have to tell them what I think is a truism that I've read from Tom Peters in The Pursuit of Wow. Uh, and he said, freedom is disruptive. And when I look at the pure abstract of freedom, I have to agree with him. So when a person says, I want freedom, whether or not they light up, whether or not they're more curious or less curious, I look at them and say, okay, freedom is disruptive. And I can't tell you the number of times people have said, not my freedom. I mean, what? They say, my freedom is not disruptive. And I said, so I have to tell them the truth again, that they are talking about an abstract, a concept, not a reality. They're talking about how they think freedom is, not how it actually is. Now, when I look at the Dalai Lama, there seems to be quite a bit of freedom in his system, quite a bit of humor, quite a bit of joy. Uh, and he has had to keep himself in a perpetual state of turmoil to ensure those higher states of awareness, to ensure that he is, stays in freedom. I don't know if it's the time, but I do know that he has been deposed as the governmental and spiritual leader of a country. Now, I think that is quite a bit of turmoil myself. I've moved probably, I don't know, 50 times in my life, maybe more, and every time's turmoil, but every time I've moved, I've had the choice to move. I've wanted to move, even though at the time it seems like I didn't want to move. I've never had anybody attempt to depose me. Well, I had somebody try to take over my clinic once, but it did a very bad job of it, and it, it didn't work. But the disrupt is what I'm trying to say. Disrupt in your life, change, major disrupt is the only way I see that we can stay out and maintain higher levels of freedom, higher levels of awareness, higher level of, of imagination, unconditional love, happiness. So these constructs are what I look for when I work with people. I look to say, okay, what is it that when you're doing it, you are happy? And then how do you sustain that happiness? And then how do we sustain it through the turmoil, through the change, so that you can have a huge amount of freedom within this relative amount of happiness? It's not easy. If living a magnificent life were easy, everybody would be doing it. Think about it. Right? You have to work at it. You have to get out, open your senses up. If you're doing a technology that's closing your senses, your life is going to be less sensational. In order to live in magnificence or live a sensational life, you have to have your senses opened up. Look around. What's different right now? Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com